Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you all the secret areas in Pet Simulator 2. Alright, so starting off at spawn, this is of course spawn where you get to when you first start the game. So I'm going to be showing you all the secret areas in order, starting with obviously the first one right here. So all you got to do at spawn, you got to come over here and you just go inside of this. It's quite obvious, you just go in uh, and you can fetch your loot. Uh, it's pretty good and if you're a beginner at the game and you're not at high enough level to get to the jungle, this is a good area which will probably help you quite a lot. Okay, so the next area we'll need to travel two worlds to get to. So from this world, we'll have to be getting to the jungle. So we will first go to the beach, and then we will have to go to the jungle. As the beach world, the beach and volcano worlds do not have secret areas. Or maybe I guess you could count this over here. It's the beach secret area right here there's usually quite some good chests here but i wouldn't say it's very secretive and on the wiki it doesn't really state this is a secret area so we are going to be traveling to the jungle and also if you're wondering why my hoverboard's going so high it's because uh the high fps you have the higher your hoverboard goes so if you have an fps unlocker it's pretty good so in the jungle you usually go this way uh, but you, you spawn here, you just got to take a right, uh, these are like bush plants, and you just fall down here, with this ladder, and you just go through this crack, and you can put your hoverboard back on if you do have it. Uh, I'd be surprised if you didn't uh, have a hoverboard, I knew you knew about this, but uh, yeah, this is quite um, easy to uh, to miss. Uh, I, can, I can see why you, you could miss it, because it isn't very obvious, it is quite hidden. To be fair, this is probably one of the most hidden uh, of all the hidden areas, to be fair. Uh, and in here, there's also the chest for so this little bit as well. So, I'll take off my hoverboard, and now I'll be showing you the next area. And um, these areas coming up are like you don't have to go through as many worlds to get to them um, because the volcano currently is the last in the game, last area last world and um, that doesn't have a secret area so yeah but I I'll show you why anyway in the winter area you want to come over here uh, and it's quite obvious you can see this rope going in it's right under here as you can see the ropes there you can't use the hoverboard you have to unequip it because the hoverboard allows you to go on top of things that um, you can't usually because uh, of like the, the hitboxes and stuff and there's usually loads of chests here there can be some chests over there as well yeah, overall, a good spot. And, oh, look, I got a triple drop there. That's nice. Yeah, um, it is quite great. Uh, but if you have high FPS, just try not to glitch in the walls. Uh, and then the next area will be, of course, the desert area, requiring level 85. And this is the final uh, secret area world. Uh, there is no secret area in the volcano, as I said. And it's just over here. You spawn there. She left. It's quite obvious, but also some people might miss it. Uh, you hop in here, and there's usually loot. Uh, the loot spawns quite fast in here, uh, depending on your server, of course. Um, it's quite weird how the loot spawns in this game, but yeah, those are all the secret areas. Just a short video on them. And the reason I think the volcano doesn't have a secret area is because, I mean, look how much loot there is. Like, let it spawn in. There's always so much stuff in the middle here, and but by the way, this platform is nothing. I've checked through all of these as well. There is no secret area in the volcano, um, but there's so much loot in the volcano anyway that you'll get way more anyway, probably. So, yeah, uh, those are all the secret areas in Pet Simulator 2. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.